Hey guys, this is Will from Monkey Steals Peach here. And for today's video, I want to go over some applications and uses of the upwards elbow in Taiji Mantis, which we call Tianzhou. So Tian literally means to lick. And it's because the elbow is coming from down to up like this, and it's kind of brushing up against the opponent like that. There's quite a few different uses for it. So I'm going to bring in my friend Sean over here, and we're going to go over a few of them. So rather than breaking this down as a kind of rigid application with opponent strikes with punch X and I apply move Y, what I'm going to do is just try and show you this kind of in real time. So uh, Sean's going to throw some attacks at me. I don't know what's coming. I don't know when they're going to come. And I'm just going to respond naturally. So yeah, sometimes I might get the technique really crisply. Sometimes it might not quite work and I need to switch to another move. And basically we're just going to kind of go with the flow, which really is what you want to try and do um, when you're trying to understand the application of form. You shouldn't try and think of it as I'm going to do this move followed by this move and it's going to look like this and that. You just, you just behave naturally, you do whatever comes, and if you've practiced your form enough, you should have the body mechanics, the, sh the shape should come out. And then just through practice, through sparring and through drilling, you'll start to get used to um, being able to use it in real time and being able to adapt to different situations as they arise. So although I'm not showing this kind of in a rigid, fixed way, there is two um, main ways that I'm going to show this technique. The first is using it as an entry. So this is what we call uh, dingjo. Ding is like pressing. So I'm going to be coming in the elbow is going to come up and in forward, pressing towards the opponent with my body. And I'm using this to kind of jar them and stop their flurry of attacks. And if I'm using enough forward pressure, this can also work as a takedown. If I'm not using a whole lot of forward pressure, at least this is shielding me. It's creating a wedge and it's creating a position from which I can counter. And then the second kind of major use for this is to use it as part of an arm break. So I'm just coming up and in towards the back of the opponent's elbow. But this, of course, requires their arm to be twisted all the way around and to really get it against the joint, which in real time isn't always going to happen. So again, you need to be able to adapt. And if you don't go for the arm break, don't just kind of freeze up and go, oh crap, I've missed it. You just flow into the next thing and just keep going and continue the flurry of attacks. So that was a few thoughts on the move Tianzhou, the uh, licking or rising elbow, um, in, which is one of the characteristic moves uh, of the Bajo form in our Taiji Mantis. Um, hope you enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments if you've got any ideas, um, other variations or other moves. If there's anything you want me to show, any other applications, ideas you'd like me to show, just drop a comment. And by the time this video is published, the sh um, martial arts of Southern Shaolin Part one should already be up. So if you haven't already watched that, uh, make sure you go check it out. It's um, a follow-up from my trip to Fujian province with Jesse Yang camp. So I'm exploring the martial arts of Fujian, talking about the mythology and folklore of Southern Shaolin. And also um, make sure you grab yourself a Fujian t-shirt. I've also got some new incense shop boxing t-shirts and hoodies. If you're interested, grab one of those. And part two of the documentary, is already up on Patreon, so if you can't wait for that, go ahead and, and join Patreon, you can watch that. As always, thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.